Alright, we're back with another tutorial. In this one, we're going to be asking the user to input the radius and length of the cylinder, and we are going to output the area and volume. So I've already got this basically started. We have a public class, we're going to call it cylinder radius, and we started our main method. Uh, at the beginning of this, we actually do need to import java.util.star. So I'm just going to type that in up here. Import java.util dot star and don't forget the semicolon uh, it will always remind you by giving you this red line here if you don't anyways alright the first thing we need to do is define a, uh, some of our variables alright so we're inside the main method uh, first we will define pi because we need pi to calculate this so double that's my uh, data type it's a double and then the data name is pi, or the variable name is pi, equals math dot pi. That's just a simple way to make something pi. That's a special way to do it. It's very quick. All right, then we need to define the rest of our variables. We will have the radius, so double radius. We'll define that. We need the height, so double height. We also need to have the area, so we will type in double area. And the last thing we are going to have output here is the volume, so we'll type in double volume. Next we need to ask the user to input some stuff, so we'll bring in our scanner by typing in, which scanner is just a fancy way of saying a way to type from the keyboard. So it can now get input from the keyboard after this line, so scanner input equals new scanner system system if I spell that right dot in and make sure you have all the capitalization and lowercase right or or it won't work you will throw an error so it's easy to see that then we need to tell the user what to input so we'll just put a comment here uh, ask user to input variables. Alright, the first variable they're going to put input is the radius. So we do radius equals input dot next and the data type is double so tell it double. Put your parentheses start and close and semicolon. Oh, I'm sorry, we need to tell the user what to in input first, so we'll go up a line and tell the user er, type in radius for cylinder, and we'll leave a space there. And we just want to have this a print, not a print line. Next, we are going to tell them to input the, let's see, after the radius, oh yeah, the height for the cylinder. So system.out.print, type in the height for the cylinder, cylinder, and make sure you have that in quotation marks, I messed that up there. Alright, and then we need to tell the computer that they're actually inputting the height because the computer doesn't know why they're typing in stuff, so we type in height equals input dot next double, open close parentheses, and end with a semicolon like normal. So now that we have all the data we need, and next we need to do calculations, so we'll put another comment. Oh, sorry, I messed this line up. Gonna hit con anytime you accidentally hit the wrong thing, hit Control Z a few times, and it'll just bring you back. Anyways, calculate. If I spell that right, calculate uh, area and volume. All right, so we've already declared our variables at the top right here, the area and volume. So now we just have to set them equal to something. So double, I'm sorry, we already have that declared, so area equals 
that's the rate pi r squared. So we multiply the radius times itself. That's the r squared part. So radius times radius. And then we multiply that by pi. So we then calculate the area. And next we calculate the volume, which is the area times the height. So volume, which we already declared up here as a double, equals area times height. And we'll end that with a semicolon. All right, so we have calculated both of those. Go down a couple lines. Go down a couple lines. Sorry, I'm using my laptop and I keep in the mouse track pad. Anyways, we'll make a comment. We'll call this output data. I'm doing these comments so it's easy to see what's going on if you're new to programming. Alright, so I typed in SOUT tab. Now I'm going to type in uh, the message I would like to display for the user, which is area is semicolon space and then you want to do plus area so the computer knows to type the area after that and the area is calculated right here and after that we also need to type in the volume so or we need to output the volume so same thing volume is and we do plus volume So this program looks good to me, it should work. Uh, one thing to notice is that area was calculated before volume because the volume, whenever we calculate that, we actually use the area. So we have to do it in that order, otherwise the computer will get confused. So I'll hit Shift F6 and this is running. And type in the radius. Let's say we have radius of 5 and a height of 10. Well, then it gives me these outputs for the area and volume. I'll show you another video how to cut this down to get not so many decimals. Uh, some slight modifications that we can make to actually make the code a little bit more succinct, and you'll get different opinions on which way is better. I'm not going to go into that right now. Is whenever we have these declared up here, we can actually declare the area and volume down here. We just type in double before that. And we'll comment this slide out, or this line out, so that the computer doesn't read it. And we'll also put volume down here. And comment volume up, out up here so the computer doesn't read it. So if I put in 5 and 10, I should actually get these same exact numbers. So we'll hit Shift F6 and run it again. 5 and 10. And there we are. We have the same exact numbers. Now something that will mess this program up that I mentioned a little bit ago is if we calculate the volume before the area. So volume equals area times height. And we'll comment this out down here. The error it's throwing is it hasn't calculated the area yet. So there's no way this will do it. So if I sh hit shift F6 I should get an error message down here in just a moment. One or more projects were compiled with errors. I'll try to run it anyway and see what happens. Now, the program hasn't run to an error yet because so far I'm only down here. I'll type in my radius. Or, I'm sorry, I'm up to this point in the program right now. Type in radius. Let's go for this time. Type in height for the cylinder, let's say it's 3. And then I get an error, because whenever it tried to calculate the volume, it got confused because it didn't have area. Area was not decided yet. All right, in our next tutorial, I'll show you how to cut down those numbers so you don't get so many decimals. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial.